Drake wow. has a rich baby daddy named so, Lucian. So all of his streams in the number <laughs> ones is controlled by someone named Lucian. Well, Lucian worked for people who control the banks in Africa who keep, you know. I have gathered you here today to start our own fraternity. T by T, we always got it. If you know what that's from, man, hit that subscribe button because you know what we on right now. Kanye is back at exposing shady celebs. And y'all know whenever Kanye wants to spill some tea, he always comes with it. He has a track history of slamming celebs and exposing the crazy things that they do behind the scenes. And y'all know he got the real tea. And he has his eyes set firmly on Drake. Drake? Now Kanye and Drake have had beef for a very long time after Kanye accused Drake Drake of having an affair with his then wife Kim Kardashian. Well it looks like Kanye is finally ready to have his revenge by exposing Drake's affair with Hollywood bigwig Lucian Grange. And not only did Kanye expose the affair, but he is also threatening to leak audio footage of Clive clapping Drake's cheeks in Diddy's mansion, admitting him all the way over to dance off this. Y'all is giving messy, and you know Kanye lives to be messy. So get your teacups ready so we can have a toast to the douchebags, have a toast to the a-holes, let's have a toast to the scumbags, and all of them that yay knows. We about to get into it. It cuts Drake's soul. It's like he signed his, uh, his soul to the devil to not be cool with me, to have to like, this is his job to go against God. Wow. So if you thought that Drake and Kanye West had finally finished their beef, well, you might want to sit down for this. Because according to Kanye, not only are they beefing, but Kanye also made it clear that he is never going to be friends with Drake again. Oh, and he is dropping some tea about how Drake is on the down low, and he has a rich sugar daddy who was allegedly the CEO of Universal Music Group, Lucian Grange. That these Hollywood folks tell Lucian Grange is everybody's sugar daddy. He must get around. Well now, for those who don't know, Kanye and Drake have had a beef for a long time. It all started when Kanye accused Drake of having an affair with Kim. It got real messy, and Drake really didn't help things when he talked about Kim and his songs, In My Feelings. Yeah, y'all remember Kiki, do you love me? Is you riding? Yeah, Kanye was super convinced that that song was about Kim, and that the affair did happen. And during his Drink Champs interview, he talked about how he confronted Drake about the alleged affair. You know, I know Kim, but I was like, but you acted like you did. You got bars that's like hidden hills, give your wife the chills. You doing all kind of, it's like somebody throwing a marble and hiding their hand or something like that. It's like you had all that disrespect. Y'all actually had this conversation. Oh, we had this conversation. And this is all and to the point where Kim be like, I don't listen to this no more. This acting like he and like, we ain't never really, like, we, we never really had that conversation. So, oh, I never Kim, right? No, but what about all the, did you ever DM her? Did you ever, you know what I'm saying? Everything else around it, you know? Cause it ain't about just the actual act of it. You know, the act, the anticipation of something is, the, is what we live in. Now is the shortest moment of our life. Well, they fell out as a result of this alleged affair. But on December 9, 2021, Kanye West and Drake hosted an event called the Free Larry Hoover Benefit Concert. This concert was held to raise awareness for prison and sentencing reform in the United States. However, their truce didn't last very long. They soon fell out again and started beefing with each other. It's been a couple of years since then and Kanye is still holding on to this grudge extra hard because in a new interview, he spoke about how Drake has sold his soul for fame and how Drake is allegedly tied to Diddy's crazy stuff that's going on with the feds. In a new interview with The Download, Kanye revealed that he believed that Drake had signed off his soul to the powerful people in the industry, like a Lucian Grange, allegedly. Yo, if you were not excited, we was energized. I mean, there's <laughs> <laughs> a, a lot to take in. Cause like you said, you like people. You and Drake was neighbors on to one time. Yeah, Not, that guy. wasn't my choice. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was yeah, my yeah, choice. Y'all yeah, was friends. He was your little brother at, at one point. Y'all yeah, yeah, was, I'm just, I as need, far as I've seen from the outside looking in. I need a massage on my neck. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, 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 did the Hoover concert together. Me and the rest of the world thought y'all were back cool. What happened after that? Like, what happened after that to where y'all didn't? Because I thought once that concert hey. happened, 
it cuts Drake's soul. It's like he signed a, uh, his soul to the devil to not be cool with me, to have to like, this is his job to go against God. Wow. But y'all know Kanye didn't stop there because he also went on to speak about Drake's alleged affair with Lucian, referring to Lucian as Drake's baby daddy. Drake has a rich baby daddy named so, Lucian. So all of his streams in the number one <laughs> is controlled by someone named Lucian. Well, Lucian worked for people who control the banks in Africa who keep, you know. One thing about Kanye is that he never minces his words and makes things up. He even allegedly went ahead to claim that Lucia might have allegedly set up the hit on Diddy by the feds. Now this is very interesting because a couple of weeks ago, Eddie Griffin said the same thing about how Lucian allegedly set the feds on Diddy because he found out that Diddy had tapes on him in some very damaging positions, if you know what I mean. This really just a, a quick, fast hit on the mother property. You ain't gonna call the press and say we about to hit Puffy's crib. You just gonna hit the crib. And they just gonna have to hear about that through the grapevine and rush down there as quick as they can. But no, we've seen the aerial shot of them driving up and arriving at this mother's crib. Somebody's behind it, somebody way up the ladder. And I think that ladder is the head of Universal Music Group. He called in his favorites from his friends. Yeah, Eddie Griffin went on to claim that Clive Davis and Lucian allegedly sacrificed Diddy to save their own skin because they realized that Diddy allegedly had tapes of them in full freak mode and they needed those tapes. So they allegedly orchestrated this raid. Clive Davis, yeah, that's 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 the monster. And the, the, the head of the Universal Music Group, he's uh, put Diddy up and, and they, 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 they sacrificed and Diddy and they, they said, you gotta take this shit. we can't be involved. But Diddy's smart, he filmed every session, he was fucking Clive and the motherfucking freak boy that run the uh, Universal Music Group. Now that's why they raided the house because they got friends in Homeland Security and the feds and they said get in there and get them tapes from this man, he's trying to blackmail us. That's what I believe is going on. Y'all, it's very messy, but it didn't stop there because Lil Rod's lawsuit exposed Lucian Grain and UMG of allegedly funding Diddy's ex trafficking and also profiting from it to the point where Lucian allegedly helped him cover it up. Lil Rod's document said, while living and traveling with Mr. Combs, Mr. Jones discovered that Mr. Combs has hidden cameras in every room of his homes. Mr. Jones believes that Mr. Combs has recordings of defendants Lucian Charles Grange, Ethiopia Hab Tamarium, as well as other celebrities, music label executives, politicians, and athletes. He continued, upon information and belief, these individuals were recorded without their knowledge and consent, and as is the case with the homosexual sex tape of Stevie J that Mr. Combs provided Mr. Jones. Mr. Combs possesses compromising footage of every person that has attended his freak off parties and his house parties. Upon information and belief, due to this treasure trove of evidence he has in his possession, Mr. Combs believes that he is above the law and is untouchable. And of course, Lucian sent his fancy lawyers after Little Rod, and they denied the allegation saying, in an offensively reckless complaint, Sir Lucian has been improperly dragged into this matter despite having no knowledge of nor any involvement in any of Mr. Combs' alleged conduct. Not only will we demonstrate the offensive falsity of these claims, but we will seek recovery of every penny of cost and damage caused by their assertion. But this did not stop Lil Rod because he updated the lawsuit exposing just how deep Lucian was in Diddy's alleged crimes, including allegedly funding Diddy's activities with really young girls. The lawsuit said, among the concrete steps that defendants Lucian Charles Grange, Ethiopia Haptamarium, Motown Records, Love Records, and Universal Music Group took to aid Mr. Combs was providing vast sums of cash, which made the sex trafficking venture possible. Providing Mr. Combs with large sum of U.S. currency caused defendants Lucian Charles Grange and Universal Music Group to receive financial benefits. It then went on to accuse Lucian and UMG of tax evasion for the sole purpose of benefiting from Diddy's alleged activities. They said, 
defendants concealed its delivery of vast sums of cash, likely millions of dollars, to Mr. Combs and his associates in order to benefit from Mr. Combs' sex trafficking venture that willfully failed to timely file required tax disclosures surrounding the funding of these sex trafficking parties with the federal government, because doing so would imperil its ability to profit from the sex trafficking venture. Y'all, Little Rob was not shy with all these accusations in this lawsuit. Neither did he hold anything back because the lawsuits went on to say defendants Lucian Charles Grange and Universal Music Group knowingly participated in sex trafficking and furthered the Combs sex trafficking venture. The concrete steps above constituted taking part in the sex trafficking venture and were necessary for its success. The concrete steps E constituted active engagement by defendants in Combs' sex trafficking venture. Well, according to Kanye, not only was Big Drag allegedly with Lucian, but he was allegedly involved with the whole Diddy situation. While it's kind of hard to see how deep exactly Drake was in Diddy's activities, Kanye claimed that Drake allegedly had some freak-offs with Lucian. Oh, and y'all know those naughty videos of Lucian that Diddy has? Well, allegedly, Drake was in some of those videos with Lucian, and according to Kanye, he allegedly has a copy of the video, and he is threatening to release it unless Drake officially apologizes to him publicly. Well, the fans have been all over it, and they've been leaving comments like, you mean Drake? is cool with Lee, Lucian, Grange? Now I see why these ninjas don't F with Drake. Diddy, Drake, Lucian, Clive, they all going down. Kanye was just telling us that we said he was crazy. And Drake sold his soul. Lucian is proud to give him money and not let him own his masters. Kanye, yay, ain't crazy about this ish. But what do y'all think about this? Y'all think Lucian Grange got Drake in his feelings? Y'all, I don't even want to imagine Drake out here like, Bend that ass over, let that booty breathe. Hands on your knees, hands on your knees. Shake that ass for Drake, shake that ass for me. Drop me thoughts in the comments below and then check out this next video.